na shukuru nasema asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu majina ni hayo yamesemwa na mpenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa roho yangu jambo la kwanza ni kusema ya kwamba mimi si sielewi lugha vizuri ya, ya, ya wajakoya but i think he meant jogi not jog i think he meant jogi jogi must be spiritual <laughs> not not jog la pili ni kusema ya kwamba biblia you open uh, proverbs that uh, one yes i think that one eight and nine it talks about the voice of the voiceless the voice of the destitute person na nataka kusema ya kwamba Kenya hii kama kuna mtu ambaye amekuwa mtetezi wa, ya wale ambao hawana sauti na sisi ambao tumeingia kwa siasa tumemjua kwa jia hiyo ni baba Raila Amoro Odinga. He is always been there of, for those who have no voice. Today sahi umeongea mambo na tumesikia bishop mambo ya Damaris. Ame ametuacha kwa sababu gani? Ya kubeba mtoto. Kifo ambacho akitakikani kuwa kinafanyika Kenya ambayo tuko wakati huu. 60 years after independence, our women are still dying because of pregnancy. That is not an acceptable. It is a level that we cannot allow ourselves to, to get to. Hayo ni kuigineko kule nchi za nje tunaona watu ambao are able to be taken through that process and this, uh, we save the children or the kids and we save the man. The voice of the voiceless. The voice of the voiceless. You do not have another voice of the voiceless for kwa baba. Saa hii tunasema ya kwamba watu wanalala ja hawana uwezo ya kununua chakula ya kila siku ama 3 minutes a day. So tunapomsikia baba akisema kesho ni tuugane pamoja, twende tuambie serikali ya wale ambao wamekalia sivitu ya serikali wakati huu ya kwamba hao wamewasahau wale wanyonge. La pili The young man naitwa Jack. Jack, Jack has been here. Imagine kijana miaka hiyo amelia siku gapi? Tatu. Three days. Anasema ni kwa sababu baba alishindwa. We know ya kwamba baba hakushindwa. He got 8.1 million votes. Again is 5.9 million votes ya hao ambao wameingia kwa maofisi kwa JC hapa. If a child of this that age tunamwacha na machozi kama hayo na tusiajali kama viongozi what is the country of tomorrow which is that country we are trying to put together machosi ya ya jeke peke yake it is enough to make you wake up tomorrow and join those other mature people who would want to say enough is enough if this feeling of vote continues we have no country tomorrow we have no na kama kweli una mjali huyo kijana think about what he becomes tomorrow after when he wakes up and realizes that he cried for three days kwa sababu kula sababu ziliibiwa na wewe ambao kuna uwezo hukufanya chochote ulikaa kitako ukafurahia ukiwa kwako ya mwisho in the still the book of Ezekiel usome i think it's that four one to six nasema wewe na nimefurahia yale mahubiri tunapatiwa na bibi you are the watchman of your area na kama wewe ni watchman na umeona hatari inakuja na unyamaze damu imwagike ama imwagwe hiyo damu iko mkononi mwako wewe kama wote lakini ukiyasema na watu wakataye kusikia yale ulisema damu haiko mkononi mwako baba has told us and we are also saying it the country is going the wrong direction in seven months we can tell you in another couple of months if we don't do anything this country will be no more sasa hii tunaambiwa kwamba hatuna rais kiseni ya kwenda uh, kufanya demonstration. While we've been talking about this thing for the last more than one month. Tunaona watu wameenda the dark days of Kano. Hapo ndio tunarudi. Kwa hivyo kesho wewe pia umepatiwa jukumu sio si tu sisi na kama viongozi wa siasa. Lakini hata Biblia inakuambia you have a responsibility to take care of this country so that we are better off than we are and we continue and improving the conditions of the people who have given us the money. Kwa hivyo kama viongozi tuko na hiyo jukumu tumeogozwa na baba ya kusema kesho tutokee. Tuugane pamoja. 
na tuifanye kwa jia ya amani don't listen to ichongwa mwenye amesema kesho wanaenda kufamia mashaba ya uhuru those are the war mongers hiyo dio we don't belong to that class we will do it peacefully as provided for in the constitution and we do not intend to have any property or any person and we will do it until the government our warbao wako kwa ofisi wametoka wameachilia viti ambao wamesikaria kwa hiyo kujisifa na washukuru na Mwenyezi Mungu abariki thank you so much mpokee salamu za mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata haku amenitumia amenituma mambo ya ujenzi akinituma nitamwambia lakini nitamwambia mko na kazi ya kidomo mnafanya Asante sana God bless. Asante. Sikioni akiongea uhuru ameongea? Sasa nataka tumpe ujumbe. Tumeona nyumba ya Bwana hapa. Tunashukuru waanzilishi wa kanisa hili vile bishop amesema, lakini vile tumeona bado kuna mabati. Mabati wanahitaji wajenge kanisa kubwa zaidi. Sawa sawa. Sasa baba leo atatupa baraka zake lakini kioni akifika kwa mheshimiwa uhuru apeleka salamu zenu na pia apeleke ujumbe wa bishop ya kwamba mnataka tujenge nyumba ya Mungu pamoja sasa kioni hiyo ujumbe ufikishe na ukipata kitu tuite tena tulete pamoja tujenge nyumba ya Bwana sasa tuko na viongozi wengi lakini si mnataka msikize baba so tuko hapa na MCS kutoka bunge za county za Nairobi na kwingineko tafadhali msimame tumpunge mikono hewani tuko na viongozi kutoka pwani bitu zako wapi all the way from Mombasa amekuja na timu kubwa sana kesho maandamano ya Nairobi wametoka all the way bahari hindi kuja Nairobi sawa sawa tuko pia na viongozi wetu wa university university students hongera hongera jana wameshika vijana wetu wa university University zetu zote viongozi wao wamekuwa Chester House. Wamekuja hapa kusema vijana wa Kenya kesho wako na baba na wanaelekea State House kuongea na Ruto. Wamekosa kweli. Na wameshikwa jana. Sisi tunataka tuseme leo wale vijana wa university wetu wote wameshikwa jana na polisi waachiliwe mara moja. Kesho wana haki kuandamana kama wa Kenya wengine. Na vile bishop alisema juu ya waanzilishi Taifa hili letu tunawaanzilishi wetu ambao walimngoa mkoloni hapa. Walifanya maandamano wakaleta msukumo wa kidemokrasia ndio wakasukuma mbeberu akarudi wapi kwao. Katika uhuru wa pili kuna wale waanzilishi ambao walipigania uhuru wa pili. Kati yao ni Raila Molo Odinga. Hii demokrasia tulionayo Kenya sasa hii katiba ambayo tunajivunia sasa ni huu Raila alituongoza akaipigania ndiye kaja Kenya so katika kanisa lenu siku ya leo you are blessed kuwa na the champion wa demokrasia yetu Kenya the champion wa devolution Kenya na hilo ndio jambo mkimuona ako hapa nasi na yeye anasema kesho anaenda kwa, ku, kuongoza maandamano ya wakenya hadi kule kwenye ikulu waswahili wanasema mbio wa mgambo ikilia kuna nini there must be a reason all is not well in kenya sababu ile demokrasia alipigania na wanzilishi wa taifa letu sasa iko hatarini tuko viongo, na viongozi kule state house ambao haja yao kubwa sasa ni kununua vyama kununua wabunge kununua magavana ili waweze kuua demokrasia wawe na watu wengi pale bungeni wafanye mabadiliko kwa katiba ili hali ninyi muko na njaa wamechukua marafiki zao wale walianguka kura wote wale magavana wale walijaribu ubunge wakaanguka 50 assistant minister CSS wameandikwa juzi hizo pesa mkiweka pamoja ni mabilioni ya pesa ambayo wangeweka kwa unga bei ifanye nini iteremuke ambayo ungeweka kwa mafuta bei ya mafuta ifanye nini ishu hawa wana boda boda wasiumie bwana mambo ya stima sababu ya hii ushuru iko juu sana badala ya kuweka pesa hapo wanaenda pesa hiyo ndio sasa wananunua vyama kuwa demokrasia ile Raila alipigania kutoa section 2a tuwe na multi party democracy hiyo mnakubali kweli so tomorrow's march is the march for all kenyans 
is a march in defense of a democracy. It's a march to tell this insensitive government, instead of using or misusing our billions of shillings, taxpayers' money, kwenda kununua matractor huko Belarus, kununua vyama, kupeana wadosi marafiki zenu kazi kubwa kubwa, tunataka tuambie kesho musikize sauti ya wa Kenya. Muko tayari? Kule mimi natoka, kuna hadithi ya fisi na jiwe. Fisi aliambia jiwe, hata ukinyamaza, umesikia. Kesho tunataka mujitokeze, sababu ni nini munaumia. Ruto, haumi kule state house. Yeye, alipoingia state house, amezingiro na wale marafiki zake, wanakula pamoja. Lakini, mwenye shibe kumbe hamujui nini? Mwenye njaha. Kesho tunataka asikia sauti yenu wanainchi. Muambia tunaumia Kenya hii. Na munataka garame ya maisha yafanya nini? Iyo mutakuja tuseme pamoja. Na hata kama na, anamoyo mugumu kama jiwe. Tunataka kesho asikia sauti yetu kwa state house because we are marching on Nairobi. We are marching on state house. Na tunenda kumuambia ukweli kesho. Sawa sawa. Na hata akiwa kule ndani state house ajifanya hajasikia. Kama ofisi tutamuambia vile ofisi liambia jiwe. Hata ukinyamaza uko ndani ya state house umetusikia Teremusha bei ya chakula Sitisha mambo ya uchaguzi wa IBC na UDA peke yake Wacha mambo ya kuwa vya makenya Sasa let me bring you the champion of democracy The champion of devolution Baba wetu Raila Amolo Odinga